Alright guys, Outdoor Idiot back in the kitchen here. So today, you saw, if you've been following me, you saw, caught the gar, I showed you how to clean the gar, now I'm going to show you how to cook the gar. And if you've ever seen me in the kitchen, I'm a bit of a tornado, so just bear with me, things are going to happen fast. It's 9 o'clock at night, we're trying to eat quick, so we're just going to do quick zucchini and some gar balls, sort of like a salmon patty, crab cake type thing. So, just come in here and grab, I use these $2 filet knives because screw sharpening a knife. Alright, now, actually, let me go ahead and get started on this. We'll knock these out real quick. So, again, you gotta bear with me guys. I'm cooking like a madman every time in the kitchen. My wife can attest to this. It's true. You gotta be good at cleaning if you live in this household. So we'll just throw them right on here before we season them. We'll do a little, do a a little simple recipe, you guys. This is one of my wife and I's simple favorites for tonight like this. Just a little bit of salt. You don't really need too much salt for these. That's a pretty probably too much. Right. And then you could add this last, but in the name of simplicity, I'm gonna add a little parmesan on it right now. I don't know the perfect temperature for these, so when in doubt, 350. That's my motto. That's my motto. There we go. All right, so knife's still pretty clean. That fish I showed you guys in the last video, white on this side, a little bone right there, better take that out, rib bone. But white on this side, uh, we've got a little fat on this side. So for this recipe, we don't want that. Some recipes that'll melt down, it's good. So we're gonna try to take off just that thin layer. And this knife is not very sharp. I think I'm about to pull another one out of that drawer to find the sharp one. But you see all that thin layer? There we go, it's coming off right there. Yeah. So this is kind of my method here, guys. Is if a knife is not very sharp, pull another one out of the drawer. And I have some brand new ones of these. They're two bucks at Walmart. Stock up on them when they're two. Dole to fillet fish, cut vegetables, and they're two dough cut vegetables, donate them, you know. You can sharpen them a little bit, and they're good, like camping nine, I'm sure you could do something with them, but for two bucks, you get a lot of use out of it, and I'm not good at sharpening a knife. Maybe I'll learn that skill I'd like to, but to me, it's not. And this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not trying to trim it up for I'm just trying to take off a little bit of that fat. You can see it's it's not necessarily a bloodline in these guards. It's almost just this weird layer of fat, like I say. But yeah, so it looks much better. So then set that aside, we'll do this other one. And we're gonna send this through the grinder. Yeah, I'm talking fast guys because I'm trying to get things done here and trying to film this and eat. We're both hungry. Not too terribly hungry. It's like the past that point where you haven't eaten and you're just like whatever, you know. Nothing else has ever been there. But if you're watching this, I'm assuming it might be my mom or my grandma or my mother-in-law, my wife. <laughs> She's behind the camera. So I love you all. Thank you for watching my videos. I know I'm a bit crazy. This one wasn't so bad. I must have took more off of him. When I fillet them off the thing. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the more you get off, the better tasting. So, I'll clean that later. I'm gonna have to come over here to this meat grinder, set it to grind, stuff it in here. You don't have to have these. You can use, this makes it awesome, it takes two seconds, but you can cut it up, the scissors, a butcher knife. I used to use a big butcher knife. But, what are they so smoke them if you got them? So I got it, I'm using it. That's what we're doing. Like I said, it takes seconds. I'll actually have to get in there and get the last bit out. That's the only part I don't like about this. It'll be like a piece at the end that you almost can't grind up. Yeah, the consistency you're looking for. We'll season that, you know. But that's gonna go into these disperse into these crab cakes so much easier. So now, we're gonna go back in there. So we're gonna make chopsticks. Thanks, sweetie. 
actually this is that piece I'm talking about. I'll send it back through, but there's always one little piece at the end. And when I do this with my deer meat, that is always my lunch. That few pieces at the end, I always cook and it's like a chunky burger. It's pretty delicious. If I can get this seal dryer, I should get meat around it. It's always pain. It's a messy, a messy. I clean well. My mom always told me it's all right to make a mess if you clean it up. So I make a lot of messes and I do a lot of cleaning. We go through a lot of paper towels in this household. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more out of here. It's not going to be a ton. I once saw a trick about sending some sort of vegetable, an onion or a potato through there to get every little bit out, but maybe if it was some sort of expensive meat, I speared this car earlier for free, and I don't want to waste any bit of it at all, but I'm not going to waste an onion or potato trying to get an ounce of gar meat out of there, so we'll call that down. I don't want to spend a lot of time going after that, so that's the goodness right there. How lucky is that, guys? It's just normal life right there, but how lucky is that? Right on top, man. That would have ruined the video. How lucky is that? Wash my hands. It's a little slippery. The outdoor idiot right there, man. The kitchen idiot. Dropped some gar on the floor, but very lucky. My wife knows I probably was still idiot if it landed the other Sorry. way. Sorry. Bailey came in here trying to get lucky, but it didn't quite work out. Alright, guys. If you're cooking gar, you gotta have a gar or gator. It's gotta be done. It's really, I don't know, there's something about this. I use on a little bit of everything, but particularly my gar. This one, the original on the gar. Everglades original. Yeah, and then some sort of Cajun seasoning. I love this stuff. It's super spicy, guys. Be careful. I mean, it depends. I guess that's all subjective. But I like spicy food, and I think this can be very overpowering and spicy, so. It's not terrible. Don't go crazy. So then we're gonna combine all that with some little floor juice, I guess. So I got a little lucky there. I did not know to do that. Now I'm in a bit of a hurry, so like I said. No oh, man, do you know what I didn't do that either? I'm not Get the oil ready? I'm gonna cut up a single vegetable. We think you're telling me that too. Just thin, thinner the better. They're pretty thick actually, but who's measuring? Yeah, a little more. I like green onion, guys. I like a lot of onion. If, you're gonna... if I continue to put out videos, you will see I use a lot of onion. I love it. It's good. Good for you, this can't be a bad for you, right? It's bad for heartburn. Just a little green pepper. Get off. Wash these ones 
off the other day for his pizza. Just take him straight out of the fridge in the bag. Smaller the better, but don't don't go crazy I'm trying to get it small if you're gonna try this recipe. Now here's the magic, guys. Potato flakes. Don't add a bunch at once. You're only gonna need a little bit, a couple cups maybe. So you need a little flour. I got some sitting here. The trick for this stuff is to add the potato flakes slowly until you get almost like a hamburger and uh, maybe a little like a hush puppy consistency I don't know. yeah maybe a hush puppy consistency is a better word for it and a little bit of flour probably not this whole thing but half of it maybe whatever's in this thing a little more of these potato flakes too I think I'm just gonna get my hands a little dirty I didn't fucking see all that, but got everything mixed in there. And that's the thing you want to get that gar is sort of making a big pile of mush, so you want to get everything dispersed in there well. And that's why I got my hands in there. Might need more potato flakes. It's a lot bigger fish than we had the other day. We've eaten a lot of gar recently. My wife can attest to that. She's behind the camera. We've done a lot of different recipes with gar. I've been trout fishing and spearing gar a lot. So, don't want to waste what a spear. I've never frozen gar before. We usually would freeze crappie or catfish or something if I'm not going to eat it fresh. But, I've never frozen gar. I don't know that it would freeze well. So, you don't know until you try. But I don't like wasting things. I don't like wasting fish. Especially if I'm not gonna keep them giving them away. Somebody will eat it, you know what I'm You don't wanna waste. You don't wanna let it go bad. So we're almost there. I'm gonna have to do some serious editing, I don't know. happen and you can tell it's not sticking to my fingers as much anymore you know where they're there it was really sticking I'm sticking to everything but we're almost there to where I want it I think it's about perfect we're gonna roll these into balls and some of those onions and green peppers will fall this one side sometimes I use too much and it'll fall off before you even roll it and that's fine but we'll roll them into balls roll them into cornmeal Throw them in that grease. Check on our zucchini here. Oh yeah, that's looking lovely. Simple meal, real fast. It's all happening live, live action. Test this flour out. Test the <laughs> oil out. I mean, it's not quite there. We'll just go ahead and them So I've done this recipe several times. I like a bigger one, but they don't fry well. So I recommend sort of a smaller smaller one you don't want a big hunking thing that's not going to fry correctly you know so a lot of people do balls again i like patties i don't I'm stubborn I like a patty but we're going to try a little smaller so you don't want something that's going to fry well. it's real dark on the outside and that's fine these things if it is real dark on the outside it's still be delicious in the middle and this is almost too big i'm making the same mistakes i did last time but it was still delicious but yeah, we said we were gonna do some more like balls this time, so stay to my word. No, I don't know. Struggle is real, guys. 
don't know if I'm gonna do balls or patties or in betweens. What's your take on it, Stephanie? Well, I like the patties last time, but an in between sounds pretty good too. An in between crossover. We're gonna call these the, the car crossovers. crossovers, yeah. There's probably two of them right here. Yeah, cause last time we were eating like that much at once in a big patty. And it was really good, but like I said, we had to crisp it up on the outside to get the inside done. And I don't want them that crispy again on the outside. I want them real more golden. Make them beautiful. Yeah, we might be the only folks north of Louisiana eating gar. Might be the only folks across the state line. I can tell you, I've never met another person in my life that eats these things, and that's great because you can give them all to me. So I'll take them. What makes me sad though is all the boat fishermen that just leave them on the bank, man. I've seen it happen live. It just They'll shoot them and leave them. They don't care. Take a picture and they're gone. I'm not into that. I'm not into the thrill of the kill. That's not me, guys. I'm going to eat everything, and that's what we're going to show you, hopefully, in the future. I got some funky stuff in my freezer already. We eat funky stuff on the regular, guys. This is normal. This is, this is just some fried fish, man. But we're going to get... Hopefully I can learn how to do YouTube and learn the camera. And we're gonna get pretty crazy, hopefully, in the future in the kitchen, man. I got some buck testicles I saved. That's gonna be a first for me. I've had other animal testicles, but never deer. So we're gonna try those out. I like to eat deer tongue. Started that last year or two years ago. I always try to pick one organ or one thing I don't eat and start doing that several years ago it was the ribs and man those are amazing never waste those again so we do a lot of recipes with the ribs and I always save the shanks for this is just what we do these aren't the prettiest man this is the first batch which they'll be gorgeous on the inside but that oil was just so hot from the beginning my mistake but like I said we'll show you in a second and they're gonna be gorgeous on the inside got that film in here I'll just do this We'll get a double, double live action. Throw that one in there. Ooh, a little dip in the oil there, you know. I think I got hands made of leather. I swear. You get enough fish hooks and lip enough catfish, your hands have come leather. You know what I'm doing in the fishing world, which I never do. Guys, that's why I chose the name Outdoor Idiot, man. Always trying to learn new things, and if I ever think I know it all about the things I do know, then I'm going to miss out. So I'm always learning, always trying to learn, always stay in the mindset of learning. So Outdoor Idiot seemed appropriate. I always like learning new skills, like spearfishing. Learned last week. I've gotten three gar now from me learning how to spearfish last week just this weekend actually, whatever day it was, you know. So, I've been eating a lot of gar, guys. It's delicious. I'll show you a sneak peek of that. It's pretty dang good on the bubble there, guys. Just perfect, that looks amazing. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna sneak a bite. Oh yeah, that's good. A little darker, but man, that's good on the inside. You know what I could compare that to? If you've ever had like like a Vietnamese like pancake, seafood pancake style thing, you know, if you've ever had one of the big thin ones at a Vietnamese place, um, that's like mm -hmm. spot on the same flavor. But this is really good. We got this stuff. I don't know if it's any good. I was like, man, maybe like that blooming onion sauce would be good. And it's on the back there, so it looked like the same. So we'll try it. I thought about whipping up a homemade sauce, but guys, I'm tired, man. It's 9.30 at night. Ready to eat and go to sleep. I'm gonna pull the zucchini out quick. It's too, too soft. Oh, yeah, 
that's perfect though. 350, when in doubt, look 350. You know what I'm saying guys, when in doubt, 350. Can't go wrong with her. Watch your camera. Mr. Terry, if you're watching this, thank you. This camera is awesome. I want to give Father and all bought me that. Well, bought us a Christmas present for us. Too. Pretty awesome. I don't know if you'll ever see this or not. Alright, these look about perfect. We're going to give them just 10, 15 more seconds. And that's the trick to cooking anything pretty, man. You want the inside to be done and outside golden, but if your oil's hot, you get a little brown. You want some goldens. These are about perfect. So you can just take them out, throw them on the paper towel, make some more real fast. I might just put that in the refrigerator, huh? That's what I was thinking too. I think we have so. plenty for what we'll be able to eat yeah, tonight. Yeah, we're gonna put the Tupperware lid on that, and that's probably be my lunch tomorrow. All right, turn the oil off. Oil off. The oil plates are good. Study materials. Oh, yeah, the zucchini looks great. Get some of these fresh ones. Take that. Which one do you want? That one's fine. Oh, yeah, that one. And then grab some dipping sauce containers. Alright guys, not the fanciest dinner, but I speared it, it's awesome. We've done this recipe several times, it's delicious. I always make my oil too hot in a hurry. I'm cooking in a hurry 24-7. Stephanie's opening the sauce and we're gonna eat good. Get this tongs out of the way. Actually, might need some fork, so. Yeah, and that's the other thing. You're gonna eat good. Better learn how to clean. Yeah, nothing fancy, guys. This is. Anybody take cotillion as a kid? Yeah, this I is, had to do cotillion. If you did that, you well, it's probably like nails against a chalkboard right now for those people, you know? Sorry. <laughs> All right. You ready? Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to spear this fish and spend time with my lovely wife. And just thank you for everything I have. I feel that you rest this food in your name. Amen. I'm excited about this. Let me know how that dipping sauce is. Oh, I will. I'll film you. Right. That's my wife over here. Always got studying something, even now. She's a doctor, by the way. Just throwing that out there. That's... And she's still always studying. Mm -hmm. I hope it's still filming. You can't even see it. The sauce was a good choice. Was it? Mm -hmm. I knew it would be. That's why I was like, this is like the perfect thing. Pretty inside, tasty. It's like a perfect tang to it. Pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Let me see the inside of that one. That one looks perfect. Let me get a close up here. Yeah, guys. Sorry, I'm fingering your plate here. Yeah. Can't tell me that's not perfect. Just delicious. Can't complain. Can't complain. All right, guys. I'm gonna eat. Thank you for tuning. If you've watched this far, you're so you're probably my mom, my mother-in-law, my grandma. So thank you. I love you guys. If you're not, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, 
this is our life. This is what I do every day. If it's not gar, it's catfish, it's crappie, it's something, it's deer. And normally we're gonna not eat it fresh all the time. You know, we freeze a lot of things so that we don't have to go out there and get it that day, come home and cook at nine o'clock at night. Normally I have it prepared and we're eating at a normal time and in bed right now. So, but today was a fun day. We went to Tennessee to the Elk River and now we're back home in Alabama having a good time. So we're gonna eat dinner and maybe I'll put a time lapse of me cleaning all this mess up behind me. But thank you for tuning in if you are still watching. Have a good day.